uh, as we wind down our streaming season let's try and put it all together and um, see if we're we've advanced in our development I'm fairly comfortable with where we've achieved what we've achieved over the past two and a half years so I'm really quite happy uh, with what we've done so these last few games just really a case for just reiterating checking the answer process as best possible and as always really being realistic with the game that is actually being played as I'm talking now I'm talking in the game you know it sounds oh yeah it sounds like an expert and all that but I must say throughout all of the videos it's been hard work even if the games have looked easy it's been hard work um, there has been loads of losses and you have seen some of those losses I do like to go through the evaluation of the losses so that we get a good understanding of well you know realistically it's not all about the wins because if you just keep looking at your wins and evaluating your wins you're not really going to pick up on any bad practices within the ones that you lost so this night's come out so we're basically a smaller piece attacking a higher piece I think this is wrong if you push this pawn I think this is wrong but it is a smaller piece attacking a higher piece Queen can take back if it does take and with a check on the king so it's not that wrong but I think I've seen this position before and it the evaluation laughed in my face but we're gonna go for it anyway okay so we could take the queen or just take with the check and uh, see what happens from there I know the evaluation previously just went what are you doing your position's not good enough to do that sort of stuff uh, so I'm gonna castle keep it safe I think I might have got carried away last time doing some other funky stuff so I think the idea is coming here but then his rook then comes here then it's behind the bishop so let's just attack the pawn two pieces attacking I think the bishop is probably going to come here now to block that off which would make sense so yeah so then overworking it a little bit so we could come here is there anything else well just keep it simple just bring it back again it's the idea of keeping it simple but not overworking my pieces now look you see nice jump straight in there jumping onto my queen let's go here so the bishop can take the bishop if need be is there any other magical moves that they can do spring into life our bishop doesn't have any protection on it as usual we've got to be mindful of all these things and one of the funniest things that I've always said to myself is when I do the evaluation afterwards and I see these massive gaping holes where either I could have taken a piece off the board or I've left pieces hanging and the opponent could have just finished me in two moves or more or less so that's what makes me laugh about me doing narr narration and coming round the back so I can't do that just yet maybe come here with the knight or here feels better here because the rook can come and challenge their queen can't they got to be mindful the bishop and the queen don't have any protection on so the knights move so we can look to potentially go and put the pressure on the higher piece with the rook probably going to double up again the bishop doesn't have any protections that's interesting there's no point doing that it just drops the pawn so there must be something with this position if I attack his rook I'm just attacking the rook just keep it simple take back here bishop doesn't have any protection neither does the queen I'm going to get forked or something I can feel something in my water it's building up it's building up on my wind down games so looking positionally yep we have concerns about these two at the moment 
and we could bring the rook back again facing the queen because it's facing the bishop and then maybe look to double up on the bishop I'm going to go here but does the bishop have a check on the king no it doesn't so that might be okay oh they're attacking our bishop damn it so they're winning a little bit of tempi do we have anything bishop takes king takes queen. no that doesn't work just bring the bishop back then it's going to attack the knight oh damn we're losing tempi all we want to do is get here put a two on one it's probably making space for his rook to come here and defend oh the stresses of chess let's move let's move the queen out of the way so the rook can go behind and defend ah dear me so that means we have to bring this up to get the queen round the back of there and his knight's protecting there anyway so why are we so focused on that let's move this queen here dead quick like he's got something he's got a diagonal here so is he looking for his knight to come here sorry his knight to come here then he's got like a two on one on this pawn the pawn can't push up because of the queen there so he's moved there dead quick so if we go here and attack his knight his knight can still come here and he's still on the pawn obviously we could take the bishop his queen takes but our queen is there I'm actually going to attack the knight if the drop here we know the coming here the knight is protecting here but then we would be able to take the bishop if they forget themselves so I'm trying to give my king a bit of company as well on the sly so this is why you don't really look at the ratings you know I mean this is like a 916 you know and <laughs> a 916 doesn't play like this you know so that's why just take them with a pinch of salt play the game that is actually on the board and you get a little bit more happiness out of the game so they've gone into deep think more it's taken well oh, it's simplified okay that's upset the apple cart because we didn't put that in the equation at all we didn't think they were taking so the bishop's got a bit of pressure on it now are we fast enough to get two pieces onto that bishop I don't think so really I think he's just whoa what's the deal ok well we could attack the queen but then they'd get a back rank checkmate thing ooh interesting times so if we come back here then we're attacking the bishop but then the bishop just dances away he's looking for a back rank checkmate oh I don't like them apples bishop takes on check on the king king takes rook takes with a check do you know there might be something in that you know Bishop takes, king takes, so we don't have the bishop anymore, but the rook comes up, puts a check on the king. King has to keep it on this because of the rook, so he'd have to go back there. This space is free, so the queen could come here. With a check, he moves across queen come oh my life that might work you know that might work and then get the rook up I'm going to be shocked out of my skull if that works look at my back rank checkmate messing up here but he has to do something with the king we come across here with the check we we'll go up here with a check and then that's checkmate unless of course he just brings his rook here then we just go with the check thing here oh 
he's not doing any of that so now he's running does his queen have a back ranker on me no there's no space so i don't think we need to panic so we can take the rook does his queen because his queen doesn't have nothing no no but this is a horse of a different color now it's, this is not the position that we calculated but we did change the tunnel vision to get this type of position now his queen's going to be chomping at the bit to get round the back to get a back ranker can't really see it, yeah it's coming round here um, so we could put a check on, he's going to escape we need to just be put a, oh, oh and they've resigned phew okay so yeah that that was a nice example um it's a nice wind down game for the end of our streaming season and let's shall we just have a look at the old analysis on that for a minute as we do so as we mentioned i mean we talked through the game anyway so we explained everything that we were doing just having a look at how badly or how okay maybe the positions were so we did push through with this pawn look at that what did i say it doesn't, doesn't like that pawn move but this gauge bar takes a while to work its way through let's go back one let it adjust do, 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 do. so it's basically plus 0 0.7 not 0 0.7 and then the pawn push goes to minus point three so either way it's a minus i did say you know the evaluation doesn't like this type of maneuver but somehow i am half decently comfortable with the mayhem and the chaos that it kind of creates because it's up to the opponent to find those better moves wh whichever they are it's actually 0 0.7 now so they do capture and we capture back with a check on the king so at this moment in time now it's favoring black so the bishop comes out and we castle it's all pretty straightforward stuff uh, still showing him more so for black at this moment in time which was expected until we found our feet so it's a lot of work that we're doing with the queen here it's now minus one point look at that gauge bar minus 1.2 so they must have had to do something very spectacular to actually you know win from this position i didn't see it i didn't i wasn't worried um they would have had to do something blinding like um it must have been some sort of pot sacrifice somewhere so bishop takes queen takes now the problem we were, were concerned about was these two pieces don't have any protection on them the queen and the bishop so they're kind of just sitting there waiting to be protected or waiting to find a safe haven somewhere then the rook move comes across wow that is plus 5.3 woohoo i don't think we took advantage of that but uh, yeah i don't think we did maybe what oh look what it was i can see oh my god queen could have just come here or the bishop in fact the bishop could have come there we would have got the rook off the oh my life <laughs> we just go there like that why didn't i see that i was just so focused on them being unprotected massive tunnel vision that tunnel vision on looking at these two pieces when i had gold right in my hand oh dearie me can't even move the rook out of the way he has to move the king it's not going to go there because it's going to get another check on it so it has to go there we'll get the rook oh that is sad and i was saying right in the very beginning didn't i or maybe midway through um the thing that makes me laugh is when i'm doing the narration and then i look back on some of them i, I go oh my god dude you are missing opportunities left right and center look at that that you could have done look at what the opponent could have done to you there your, your position shot so 
just because I do talking and narration on these videos, like I've said, I am no expert. I am just constantly practicing and learning all the time. And it has helped improve my game over the past two and a half years, which I'm really comfortable for because that is what I was doing it for. I was doing it to help improve my game. It has done that. So I think I'm gonna take a little break. This was this is like a wind down game. Um, from doing the, the kind of streaming type thing. I've educated myself up to this point. Just gonna get in, play a few games, um, over the board games. I'll, I'll be back online, you know, throwing myself around, doing the bullets, the blitz, that type of stuff. Concentrating on correspondence as well. Pr practicing some things, blundering all over the place like we do. So I'm not disappearing. It's just, I think for now, for the streaming aspect, focusing more on not doing any narration and just focusing on actually playing chess that's my focal point anyway it's not about getting any fancy ratings or over the board or anything like that it's just to really play some better games and understand the games better and um, so that i can maybe enjoy the games a little bit more playing over the board going to the competitions and really having a nice little toolkit in my in my bag now uh, to actually work with nice decent players work with higher rated players and really have something to bring to the table so i've done my bit i'm a happy man so probably come back on streaming later on december is something like that but for now these are the wind down games i'll play two more games um just as a um, little wind down little presents for myself and this is like showing massive <laughs> massively we had a massive opportunity <laughs> brilliant okay so the knight comes back and then we attack the queen with a lesser piece and we're still concerned about these pieces as we mentioned here so we're looking now just to trade down so they trade okay so we've given back there we've given them back a bit of an advantage it's showing 0.1 here type thing um so we bring the bishop back, no problems there. Then we bring our knight across, attacking their knight. They actually capture, and we captured back. This is probably where we should have maybe gone for that movement there, which we spotted a little bit later on at some point. And then the rook comes across, then we take. Okay, so this is a bit fancier. But yeah, at least we spotted it at some point, but it's way late in the game. We could have just got it off the board ages ago. Ah, dear me. Yeah, but I'm, I'm actually pleased I spotted this. Uh, I'm pleased at that because it's, it shows a bit of an advancement in our learning. We eventually got there and I don't think there was anything majorly wrong with the way that we got there. It was nice and st safe and steady. But we can beat ourselves up about not seeing that bit earlier. I know everybody else watching the screen would have gone, You could have just done that there. I saw it, I saw it. Okay, I'll tell you what then, you show me some of you show me the last ten of your games, right? Yeah, and then we can talk about any errors that you may have made in your games. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> okay, so the king took. And then we brought the rook up. We did discuss all of this position beforehand. So it's nice calculation. This is no real escape, but obviously he moved his king down. Didn't do what we wanted, but then it gives us the rook for free. And then the king, queen moves down, but it's not really going to carry much weight. I don't know what I would have done, but we would have kept on putting checks on the king to try and squish it. So, yep. Yeah. That was a nice, decent game. Always constantly learning. Always, all the time. Um, I'm never thinking of um, not learning in chess. We started with the answer process with some simple concept and it's built and built and built and we've constantly found things to add to it all the time. We haven't even stripped anything away. It's just constant um, from the evaluation of the games other other items come out that we need to work on and practice so it's a constant growth of material it may have been streamed down because then we're looking at it in more of a what's the word 
a, a, a bigger picture, a strategical picture. So it's not lost within the strategy.